In this video, we're going to talk about flushing output. So a buffer is a portion of memory that's used to store a stream of data or characters. And those characters sometimes only get sent to an output device, such as a monitor, when the buffer is full or meets a certain number of characters. And this can cause your system to lag if you just have a few characters that you want sent to an output device. So using the flush method will immediately flush the contents of the buffer to the output stream. And let's see why this can be useful and important. So back in this write file class, we have a program that writes a text file called myfile.txt and it prints out I love Java and the number 56 to it. And then watch what happens if I don't close the file. I'm going to remove pw.close. And because there wasn't enough things in the buffer, it didn't get, it's not going to get written to the file. And also because I'm not closing the file which flushes the buffer. So it says, it says the file was written to, but let's take a look and refresh the Java package and look inside my file.txt and it's empty. These files did not get written to it because I removed the pw.close. But if I did a pw.flush and forgot to close the stream, it will guarantee that the file gets written to. So let's check it now. Here's the data. So just to be safe, call the flush method when you're ready to write the stuff to the file and not have to wait for the file to be closed, which you should still do anyways. 